Hi, Dr. Biology here, and this is an A-level uh, video on genetic information, variation and relationships between organisms. I'm going to particularly be looking at um, DNA, mRNA and tRNA, and also their presence in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. So I hope you find it useful. Let's begin. In this video, we're going to look at DNA in eukaryotes and prokaryotes because it does vary. So let's have a look. Um, so very, very quickly, put these words in order of size, starting with the largest. So if you want to pause, that would be really good. There we go. So it'd be cell, nucleus, chromosome, gene, nucleotide and base. And hopefully you've learnt about the structure of DNA and RNA and about nucleotides in the biological molecules section. So here's a very quick, very basic um, uh, diagram, okay, just showing the relative uh, nature of the nucleus chromosome genes, DNA, and then you've got nucleotides and then bases. So the bases A, T, C, and G. Right, so you will need to know about how DNA differs in eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. So firstly, let's look at a prokaryotic cell. So you'd have looked at the structure of prokaryotic cells in the cell biology section of the A-level, but we'll just recap a bit about the, um, the DNA within prokaryotic cells. The first thing to say is prokaryotic cells don't have any organelles and therefore they don't have a nucleus. Um, DNA molecules are very short uh, and they tend you tend to have circular plasmids as well free in the cytoplasm. They are also not associated with things like proteins um, called histones. So eukaryotic cells, a bit more um, complex as you can see contains membrane bound organelles and particularly the nucleus so dna molecules in the nucleus are very long dna is linear so it's not in a circular plasmid and it's associated with proteins called histones and you'll learn more about the role of histones when you do about the control of gene expression um, and then DNA and histones, they form chromosomes. So let's look at this diagram. So you can see a chromosome and when it's unwound, you can see it's made of long linear pieces of DNA. And those are wrapped around proteins called histones. Um, and if you look at the DNA structure, you'll probably already know this about the double helix. Um, and we'll be talking about that in another video shortly. However, in eukaryotes, uh, you do have mitochondria and chloroplasts, and you do need to know that actually there is mitochondrial DNA and chloroplast DNA. And it's very similar to prokaryotes, so DNA is short, circular, and not associated with protein. So here's a quick summary. So if you want to have a read of that, that would be good. Um, and that kind of summarizes um, about the structure of DNA in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Hope you found that useful. Please do check out my other videos on this section of work. I'll see you soon.